Okay, let's, let's, let's go. The last one with, uh, with Chris and with Arthur. Thank you very much indeed. Chris has got his belt uh, with him. Chris, when, you, when you've got a date, you know the date is set. Does that change training in any way, the intensity, the schedule? Just, just talk us through the last, you know, the last few weeks when you know that the date is set. This is, uh, this is a luxury I actually haven't had many times throughout my career. You know, most of the times, my fights have kind of been, you know, three, four weeks notice. For this, I've had, uh, you know, I've had a good, solid training camp. Um, I was on weight three weeks ago. Uh, I had a full breakfast this morning and I'll have a full breakfast tomorrow. And I know that man cannot say the same thing. Um, I'm feeling strong, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. And I know this man comes into the ring with, with a lot of your respect, only to be stopped once in 51 fights. It's only the very elite fighters you've ever beaten him. That's right. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm going into that ring on Saturday night to make a statement. I want to be the first man to legitimately stop Arthur Abraham. And uh, you know, with my combination punching with my speed and ferocity, I, there's no reason why that can't be done. Do you regard this as your, the toughest test of your career so far? Yes, this will be, in my opinion, the toughest test. He's the most experienced uh, fire I've faced, and uh, I've trained accordingly. Are you, are you relishing that? Are you looking for somebody to push you and to test your credentials? Uh, I said it from uh, my last fight, after the fight. You know, I want to fight the best, I want to fight for the titles. Um, you know, and I believe that the tougher the test, uh, you know, the more it brings out of me, the, the more I'll rise to the occasion. Uh, so yeah, this is just the beginning. Arthur, how have the last few weeks been? How's your training been going? Good, thank you. I feel very good in England. Everything is very nice. My training gym is good and I go a little bit running. I go a little bit punching ball. I feel me good and I train a little bit with my trainer. Everything is okay. And you're feeling confident? I mean, you know how good Chris is and how good potentially he could be. How confident do you feel about this? Natürlich bin ich zuversichtlich. Sonst werde ich nicht hier. Ich bin hier zu gewinnen. Ich bin hier nicht für was anderes. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I've got confidence. I've come, otherwise, I wouldn't be. I've come here to win. Can't be any other way. And the win over Robert Krasnicki has that, to some extent, revived your career. Do you feel? Reborn as a boxer after that win. No, this is Krasniki is my last fight. This is forget it. Win, finish. I think next. Uh, I think the next time, what come? Uh, what what I doing for a long time is forget it. This is. Sag, mein Trainer hat ein Sprichwort, nichts ist älter als Erfolg von gestern. Nothing is older than the success of yesterday. That's what his coach says. Well, I like that. Deswegen, deswegen, man muss immer neu beweisen, neu, neue Ziele haben, neue Ziele umsetzen. Yeah, you also approve yourself again and have new targets and implement those new challenges. So when you look at, at Chris and you look to the DVDs and you've studied him, what sort of fighter have you watched? Everybody he won, he fight to world championship he's good. Nobody can fighting for for world championship he's nothing. I respected everybody. I I had no problem with everybody. We go to the ring to fight, and the best win, and I win. <laughs> now the weather's the, the weather's not been too bad recently. When you've been running along the seafront in Brighton, have you had a, a lot of people? I mean, you're always recognised, of course, but particularly now that you're in the stage where you're fighting for world titles, are you feeling a lot of support in your in your hometown as you're going through your training? I am, and not just in my hometown, but in uh, in England in general. Everyone's backing me for this fight, and obviously we have a uh, you know uh, England v Germany type situation. Um, even though I don't actually think he's officially German, but uh, yeah, you know, he, he, taught, he speaks German. But yeah, you know, um, the support has been, uh, as always, uh, uplifting, amazing. Um, you know, I've got kids running after me in the mornings and people cycling alongside me for my entire runs in Brighton. 
um, you know, everyone you know really wants the best for me, and uh, I won't disappoint Saturday night. Yeah. I mean, it's a good time, is it, Brighton? Back in the Premier League for the well, first time I've ever been in the Premier League, as it were, in the top division. You're fighting for a world title. It's a good time to be a sports fan on the South Coast. Yeah, we we're uh, we're producing some exciting stuff down there in our little city, and um, right. you know, on the big stage, I am going to represent Brighton and England best way possible and that will be by defeating Arthur Abraham and start. And you say of course that you want to fight the very very best and without getting ahead of yourself what people I suppose the UK would love would be you to fight a De Gale or a Groves. Would that would that be on the plan if things go well on Saturday night at some stage in the next whatever it is That's 12 coming. 18 months? That is coming I mean after this I plan to enter the Super A Series uh, World Boxing Tournament uh, obviously Groves is in there uh, with his world title and uh, other solid fighters. Uh, so that will be a great opportunity for me to showcase uh, you know, my skills and to prove that I am the best super middleweight in the world. Just a final one, Arthur. What about fighting in London? We've had some very famous fights in London. You know, we're at Webley. It's a very famous part of, of English sport. What about the experience of fighting in London and at Webley? I'm happy I've fight, I, I been fighting in London. In Lo England have a very, very big name for boxing. Joe Calzaghi, Lennox Lewis, uh, and more and more. And I like English people. He understands from boxing. You know what is boxing and football. <laughs> and what can I say? I am happy I'm here. And we win Saturday and we go to the Berlin Bank and I'm happy. Okay. Thank you very much indeed, gents. We'll do the photographs. Thank you. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Chris. Okay, got everything. Okay, thank you very much. 